I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Okay. Snake! Ace! Clover! Seven! How? How did you guys... How did you end up here? That's my line? <laughs> Perhaps we should exchange information. Oh, so that's how it happened. And you guys almost died. That's there you cool. Have it. Our half of the story. Okay, let me see if I got all this straight. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. Why don't we check those three reds again, just in case? You're right. Huh. There's a long, thin gap on the bottom. I think it's a slot or something. Well, this isn't good. Really? Slots can have things in them? The red is inactive? We well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No. There isn't. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Hospital rooms. That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. He really hates his astrological symbols. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. <laughs> Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? <laughs> what is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Here's some more exposition, everybody. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic yep. sinking. So the thing is, like, a lot of the things they go on about in this game are, at the very least, real theories, if not actually true. Like, during um, one of the things I was actually doing a quick Google about the tit or the uh, futility book, and there was actually uh, a lot of similarities to the point that after the Titanic sinking, they republished the book and changed some of the details to make it a little less creepy. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself, which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, but the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down. Just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the Gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured... Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. Uh, no, I I've got more. Like? Well... Uh, I felt the keel plate. I, mean, I don't know. By the way, the keel plate is actually like an identifier for ships. It's usually it'd be on the outside though, so that wouldn't actually work for this. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, wait a minute. Memory isn't back. Yeah. Your point being? Wait, was I the only one that didn't? Why? Oh. Yeah. I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. What? Huh. A bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. 10? Yeah. 11? 
11, 12, huh, 12. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. I guess it's not really right. Hmm? Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't freak out. We've already searched four of them. <laughs> four? Wow, you guys did a great job. Four rooms? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh... Really? Oh. Hmm. All right, guess. so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah. Sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. Lotus has an interesting personality. It's one. I better get back to the others. Matic door opening. Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Vacant. Oh, look, they're working. <sighs> Come on, guys, who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. What? Th let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. I don't believe you. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do is pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. He is blind to shit. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... He couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Hey, uh, hold on, Clover! Wait! Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Only five hours left. Let's split up. All right. I'll take this direction. I've also just realized that I've been meaning to record this for, uh breaking apart for a stream, and I'm gonna have to download this off of Twitch later because, uh, I didn't hit record. It's fine, it's gonna be mostly the same, I just had the, uh, notification graphics turned off. Let's see you all later. All right. I'm not reading we that one out loud, it. Star. Yes, let's go, but where should we start? Let's see. All right, where to search first? Let's go... I'll go to the first class cabin. Oh, that sounds about fun. the first class cabin on B deck. Okay, let's go, Jumpy. Well, I was intending to do it because I do want to break it apart and do. How did this happen that fast? Did 
I miss something? Uh, I meant to record it because I am going to put this up on YouTube, but I'll try to remember next time. At the worst, I said I could pull it off of uh, Twitch. <laughs> Look, I know you're really worried, but... No. No. Hmm? So Just mad. Go somewhere else. Stop bothering me. Uh, um. Why are you still here? Did you hear me? <sighs> well, I was planning on doing it for this one because I have a couple friends who don't really watch streams that were interested in uh, this game, so I was hoping to put it up on there for them. Yeah, no, Clover. Uh, Clover gets mad sometimes. Huh? Fine. Forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just. All right. Let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> we really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? Go to the casino. casino. Let's go take a look. Snake! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear? Sure. What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals 26. The digital root of 26, two plus six equals eight. Wow, Junpei, you're really good at this. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover? Well, why don't you add them up? 1 plus 2 plus 3 uh, plus 1 plus 0 numbers. equals the digital root for those four. That's right. And you know the number... Of course I know that. No! Our... Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I... Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we managed to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The digital route for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add Ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring Ace too, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. That sucks. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors. The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Oh, wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... that's just... You think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. That didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Well, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Time to search some more. Yes. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. All right. Where should we go next? Let's go to hallway. Let's go back downstairs and check out that hallway with all the doors. Oh. It's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Let's go. Ah, hello there. Snake is... 
<laughs> well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clo Right! By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. <laughs> Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. All right. Back to the drawing board. Oh, was... I'll think on it later. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. All right. Where should we go next? Let's go... Back to the large hospital room, because I'm pretty sure going Why back to the other areas does nothing. Room? Okay, let's go then. Hey, wait. That's... Santa? What are you doing? What? I always say Can't yes. Tell? I'm checking out the rat. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... the guts of this rat. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Hmm. We're gonna say zero. I think it was probably zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. You don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me like that means he didn't do it. I mean, who do you think took that stuff out in the first place? Probably Zero. Yeah. And why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken them out himself? It just doesn't make sense. Why do him all that crazy work? Crazy person? <sighs> yeah. I guess that makes sense. So, what happened then? Who put that stuff back in the race? He could be a troll too. So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the red. Bingo! We have a winner! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah. But why? No idea. Maybe if they can clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Like something what? bad? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course. It could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we go next? I think we can just finish searching for I'm pretty sure we go back to casino in first class. We just see, uh, we basically see whoever is there just still doing what they were before. I think Santa's a werewolf. The snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not going to find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've got to figure out who's going to go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Uh, I see. Why don't we decide? This is unfortunate. On one not one night ultimate. Sacrifice. sacrifice. Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes, you've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people, respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people, respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out then only one person will be left behind. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two, and one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. 
But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the numbers. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Who's left over? That would be three, seven, eight. And what's the digital root for that? Three plus seven plus eight is eight. Exactly. But door, that means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any <laughs> of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. <coughs> anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal. We only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. Then... You're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about it? To... to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is, you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. <laughs> um, and for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you. Shut up. <laughs> what about you, Sandra? Me? Well, I agree. I guess. All right. That's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. We don't do something. We're all gonna die. Huh. Glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, <laughs> hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh. Let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Yeah. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. Julie, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. The <laughs> doors only go one way. You go in, you don't yeah. come out. Yeah, Lotus is effective. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True, but that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <laughs> Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Poor old man. Time to take a nap. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. Okay, Santa. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. 
There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine. Forget about it. I'll figure I'm it out. I'm trying to help you, Jesus. Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> oh, never Ace! mind. He did. What happened? Ace, say something. I'm all right. How are you all right? This. A syringe? Soporil Beta. What does this do? Did, did you use this? Did you take drugs, old man? Yes. It's just anesthetic. I'll be fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful. <laughs> Later. <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna grab this anesthetic. This is gonna be useful for me. <laughs> and you. I didn't think and I'd everyone. Be using it on myself. Why did you do this? Uh, it depends on how much. Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to? Say, I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? Let the old drug man take his nap. No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm, so comfortable. <laughs> Get out of there, June. <laughs> I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace, Ace. <sighs> Let's get him he is bed. an adult. That's the problem. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. <laughs> right? Like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. Oh, damn. What? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right. Who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? All right, what door should we pick, guys? Three, seven, or eight? Door three? All right, let's be conscientious. I want to go through door number three. Nope, you can't. Nope, you can't. Huh? Why? Because it's impossible. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. But Why? I want to go through door three. The bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doing math before I click through again. Mm, there are yeah. two combinations that can go through door three with three people. Three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. That's it. Of course, two teams can't go through the same door. I see. That means one team would get left behind. That's right. That doesn't happen if we go through door seven or eight. No, they're fine. We've got three options. Option A. Have three, five, eight go through door seven. Santa, Junpei, and Lotus. And four, six, seven go through door eight. And that's Clover, June, and seven. Option B, four, five, and seven go through seven. Clover, Junpei, and seven. Three, six, and eight go through eight. Santa, June, and Lotus. Option C. Three, six, oh and God, seven so go through seven. Numbers. I love numbers normally, and right now I've been streaming for three hours, and I'm like, please stop saying numbers. And four, five, and eight get eight. Those are the only three options. That's it. At least if we want to get all six of us out of here. Wait. But that means five and six can never be on the same team. Oh no, it is a really fun game to stream. Like I said, I'm if probably either gonna go. go a door, a, I, I think I'm gonna go until I hit an ending. 
we'll see. And it's not gonna have to work tomorrow, so it's not gonna have to worry about going to sleep at a certain time. Um, <sighs> but at worst, I might cut it off around it midnight if I haven't hit any by then, but I probably will. Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. You've got two choices, seven or eight. You can't choose three. If you choose three, you're gonna be leaving three people behind to die. die. So what are you gonna do? Seven or eight, time to choose. All right, now what number do we want? Seven or eight? Oh, I forgot that speaking door three is still an option. <laughs> you still really want door three? Are you sure about this? Because I will click door three. Okay, uh, seven or eight then. Eight. All right, let's do it. To All right, we'll go for eight then. Since Stars is eight. Okay, okay, fine. All right, I choose door eight. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. All right, Ben. That means June's got to go through seven. Huh? Why? Uh, Junpei, you figured it out, right? Can you explain it to her? I don't like talking to women. Okay, so, June, we <laughs> want all six of us to go through a door. Oh no, you're saying we aren't gonna- uh, Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. What about the blank door? Now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? There's not one we can see, nor is there the little red unit, that one thing that they were talking about that they were putting their hands against. So that's a door they can't go through because it's barricaded, and despite the best efforts of the big burly men, they can't open doors that aren't openable. <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, I'm bored. that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. Are you ready? Oh, I took door four to start with. Yes. I had to think about it for a second, but I did take door four to start with. Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? Yeah, the thing is, I don't remember what ending I'm going to get here, so this will be interesting. It's open. Okay. Hurry! I am ultimately going to try to play through all the endings before I go to the main <sighs> ending, which isn't too much of a spoiler. It's this game's been out long enough, but I'm playing it on PC. June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing? Oh, Steam. Yeah, I picked it up on Steam during the sale because it's like 15 bucks, I think, for everything. Hurry. Oh, it stopped. Pointless. What an unpleasant girl. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. Too late now. Yeah, and like I said, I, I see that you definitely are talking about Starlight. Like, try to keep uh, spoilers light, like I'm trying not to go into them too much, at least until we obviously hit, like, big break points, so. The good thing is I just oh, won't say them on the stream, so that my recording won't have them for uh, YouTube. There's a door on the left, though. A laboratory? Huh. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either. This is a fun uh, route, it's though. Like I was debating doing this one later, but this is this will probably be a good Jinpei. one to go through today. Huh? Please, you first. Ugh, fine. Well, this was a bit of drama. 
Now we're about to get back to the puzzles. Tune in next time to see what's waiting for us in the laboratory.